what was one of the most interesting like revelations of litter conditions in Wake County that you found from the data after we really went through it? One of the most surprising findings for us was how much of the litter um, that was collected during our map was beverage containers. North Carolina is not a bottle bill state, but aluminum cans have been banned from landfills here since 1994 or 95, and plastic bottles have been banned from our landfills since 2011. Yet quite a lot of what the literati researchers found um, were those recyclable bottles and cans. Um, we had thought we would find a lot of uh, PPE with uh, the COVID uh, pandemic going on. Um, so that was a, a surprise, our, our assumptions were wrong there. Um, but understanding that a lot of the litter was recyclable beverage containers um, is something we can talk with our municipal partners about um, because we all want to continue to see those valuable items out of landfills and out of the environment and into a recycling stream where they can make their way to manufacturers. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, that's super interesting. Yeah, and we've seen that in some other municipalities that we're in the cities that we've been working with. Is yeah, that that I, hopefully this resonates with people on the webinars. Yeah, it's just it's like a double whammy, right? Not only are you missing out on getting that to a return recovery facility where there could actually be, you know, I know recycling's in a really tough spot right now with actually getting revenue from it, but then you're throwing it out on top of it and then having to collect it as litter and all the operational costs. So yeah, thank you for saying that because I think it's a really important point. I'm glad that came through on your on your map data.